A new debate, a heated one. What role do police play at Tulsa's new $450 million park? In a news report out today, the city's legal department weighed in, telling officers they shouldn't respond to the park to enforce its rules over fears of being sued. Do Works Fear reporter Tony Russell is live at the gathering place tonight with the new directive. Tony? Yes, and the uh, city's legal department basically says, you know, once you set inside this gigantic park, technically you're on private property. And because of that, the city's attorney basically says officers shouldn't be responding to enforce those rules. It's an amazing gift to Tulsa. Walk sign is on to cross 31st. Tulsa's gathering place, open for more than a month now, drawing hundreds of thousands of visitors. The whole atmosphere is great. I just love this family atmosphere, good place to be. In. But challenges from a Second Amendment group wanting to carry their firearms into the park, prompting the city of Tulsa's legal department to issue directives to police. In an article written by the Frontier, the city's attorney warning if officers try to enforce park rules, they could potentially open themselves up to lawsuits saying, quote, we cannot give our client, the police department, the solid opinion that they're basically going to be OK if they continue to remove people. Until we get that cleared up, we're going to basically abstain from getting involved. Mark Lewis, a community organizer with We the People Oklahoma, agrees police should shy away from the park. You know, I would love to see the resources being used on public property and, and things of that matter. But someone breaking a rule at the gathering place they should hire their own security for that. Okay. And which, from my understanding, they have. Honestly, if it's for minor infractions, if it's not a public safety concern, I think our police uh, resources are better utilized where there are dangerous elements. Tulsa Police telling us TPD has had a presence at the gathering place since its opening and will continue to do so in order for the citizens of Tulsa to enjoy the park in a safe environment. And we did reach out to the gathering place tonight for a response. And when we hear back, we'll make sure to tell you on KJRH.com. Reporting live at the gathering place, Tony Russell, two works for you.